Hello, everybody. My name is Wendy Wing. Um, if you want to find me online, you can find me at wingspiritualclarity.com. The intentions for today's channeling session is alignment with your higher self, ease with transformation, whatever aspects of your life you are transforming or going through. And since it's Earth Day, a really strong co-creative healing and alignment with Earth. And um, the agreements for this space are that this space is created under the umbrella of the highest and greatest good for all. If it resonates with you, if something that I say resonates with you, fantastic. And if it doesn't, it's not for you, then just let it go. Your ultimate guide is your higher self. You're welcome to the space. You're invited. And it's fertile with uh, a lot of co-creative energy. So I appreciate you sharing your energy with me here, whether whenever you're seeing us, viewing this. And that any ideas, beliefs that are mentioned during this video are not in competition with anybody else's beliefs. Um, yeah, it feels good. All right, so as I feel um, the messages coming in today, I feel really drawn. This is one of my favorite decks. Really, I have very few decks of cards and the Power Animal Oracle cards for years. Um, uh, it must have been, I got them about nine years ago uh, before my <clears throat> formal psychic training, as I just, I tend to understand animal energy. All right, let's see, for the collective of who's joining in and watching this, what are some good general messages? Mm. Black Panther, passion. Follow your passion. Wow. Ish. I'll put this aside. This just, um, personally, this is bringing in um, big cat energy. Um, so um, the, the veil between um, those who are still currently embodied and those who are have left their bodies and moved on is um, pretty thin right now and keeps getting thinner and thinner. And so a lot of you who normally feel like you're connecting with someone who's passed, a loved one. Uh, I just want to validate that that really is happening when you think of them and feel them around you. Um, a very loving, caring, supportive energy. Um, yeah. Um, just going to let that settle. And then I have some new cards I'm really excited about. Um, these feel um, like the support from other dimensions. I'm also getting uh, higher dimensions 
some might call it angels, archangels. Some of these light beings from these really high dimensions are um, wanting you, you to know that they've gone through this. So there's like an aspect of um, someone who gets like in a real profound way what you're going through personally and cares and is not judgmental at all. Like there's no, um, it's hard to even, uh, so I'm just releasing a lot of my personal judgment because it's just so foreign, that feeling of um, not judging yourself or others, that everything is the way it should be divine. Wow, there's a lot, lot of um, pink light energy coming in. Um, if you feel things more somatically, um, might be feeling um, your solar plexus wanting to open. So instead of opening through thoughts and using up here, uh, the suggestion is opening your heart, connecting with heart first. All right, so what does, what do the people who are tuning into this need to hear the most right now? Mother healing. Come on, it's really beautiful. Earth Day. I love that. Um, oh, by the way, these are angelic light work cards. Uh, Alana Fairchild, really love them. There's a booklet that comes with them. And um, the, the intention is really beautiful on this. So let's go ahead and take a look-see. Mother healing. The oracle of mother healing brings a message of a restored sense of self. In finding our place, our innate spiritual belonging and value within ourselves, our ability to claim our belonging and value I have really, I have a lot of trouble reading um, out loud. Um, hitting tons of per perfection pictures. Oh, also hitting a lot of like worry about how I'm being perceived. So if any of you are feeling that now, um, judgment, Yeah, just let that go. Feels like a lot of old structures um, that we're having an opportunity to let go of and move forward through. All right, so in finding our place, our innate spiritual belonging and value within ourselves, our ability to claim our best path always unfolds. You're learning how to come home to your own heart. You are realizing that you have the capacity to love and be loved and that you are enough. You are learning that you are divinely designed to be as you are. While you have dreams to accomplish and grand visions to bring about, your innate essence is a beautiful expression of divine love, just as it is. Your heart knows how to be a good mother to yourself and others. You deserve to love and be loved. Love that also fit with what I was saying um, about the energy coming in, um, very heart-centered, like starting there and then 
communicating with your other chakras. So really bringing in that column of light through the top of your head, um, through all your chakras. All right. Um, I'm going to start the channel for any guided messages that are ready to come in. Feel free to join me. Um, When connecting with earth and grounding right now, that's the first thing I'm, I'm noticing how uh, it's interesting grounding into the earth doesn't seem as straightforward as it was. I'm giving the message that it's actually easier. Finding that channel of light and bringing um, your entire being, column of chakra column, and grounding into just allowing that light to flow through you. Notice um, visually, I can see where there are darker, denser aspects in my space that are making it difficult for the light to have this nice wide open channel. Somatically, I can feel the light as it's going over those um, limited beliefs and resistance as um, feels more like the um, right side of the masculine side is really um, in resistance right now. And I'm talking as the collective for all of you, if this resonates, feels like there's a real healing opportunity for masculine energy that's really freaked out by this explosion of emotions and not knowing how to be masculine and have emotions. So this isn't just referring to men in a masculine form in this lifetime, but that we all carry masculine and feminine energy. And that masculine energy, it's like there's this wonderful opportunity to heal a lot of that toxic masculinity in the way you speak. Who are you? How does your, how does a balanced masculine energy feel? Feel is important here as this is kind of a new area. Am I allowed to feel? Ooh, so many yeses came from, it's like shouting. <laughs> So um, yes, we want to feel. How does that look without, uh, it feels like there's a lot of ego um, needing to show up in a way that's acceptable in relationship to self in relationship to those you're close to and in relationship with the collective as a sort of as a whole. It's 
amazing how this energy and shifting, um, if any of you have noticed shifting in your lower chakras to try to find this a balance for you with your masculine energy coming into alignment and balance. I'm being guided to see how masculine energies look with the feminine energy, how you can use your feminine energy, your left side to work better with this um, new, very scary, like there's a lot of fear coming up and doing it wrong. And there aren't any examples of how to run your masculine energy with emotions echoed by the feminine energy saying there aren't a whole heck of a lot of archetypes of feminine power um, archetypes that I can consciously pull from. It looks like feminine energy is also going through shifts, trying, uh, not trying, uh, as as your feminine energy unmatches, it looks like uh, a lot of feminine energy has um, mirrored masculine energy, not knowing how to run that feminine energy. And so instead just use um, using the template of masculine energy. And so feminine energy as well is, releasing judgment and bringing in more compassion. Um, also comparing, there's all this um, feminine, a lot of you out there, including myself, have this feminine energy that's really good at uh, finding all the things that are missing, criticizing what isn't working. Um, it's kind of like um, that is a great skill to have. There's nothing wrong with having discernment and knowing what you want and don't want. However, it feels like this is turned up so high that... Um, and for so long that it's really hard to perceive the wonderful things that are already like the appreciation of all this wind coming in. It feels very refreshing. So tuning into that loving, refreshing energy Not letting go of noticing those things, but are you noticing and then staying on that subject or are you noticing and then deciding what you would choose instead? Okay. Okay, there's some physical um, healings <clears throat> for self and others. I have um, three people at least who are, I know I'm conscious of who are having physical issues, myself included, so I guess four. And if you are having physical symptoms of ascension, really feeling this time in a physical way, the earth um, is really coming in strong, as are all the support networks from higher dimensions to support this the higher dimensions and earth don't see humans and earth as separate. Uh, it feels very 
we are part of a bigger whole. Uh, there's a light. Um, there's a lot of pinks, oranges, gold energy, as well as this um, white channeling light. It feels like a very uh, co-creative space, um, reminding you of your greater connections that you are connected within and that how important you as an individual, your experiences are, your perspectives are so important. Um, it's okay to feel what you're going through. Accept what you're feeling. Uh, accept without holding on. It's like accepting, not blocking it, but accepting that you're feeling this and drop storyline and just feel, feeling a lot of, this is really tough. Holy shit. <laughs> like that kind of um overwhelm exhaustion endurance like it feels like um a lot of you are marathoning through this and some of you are, are white knuckling i see you i feel you you're not alone. That's the earth energy coming in and really um, giving you that motherly energy. It feels like um, the best kind of hug. She's not trying to change your experience and she's just accepting exactly how you are right now in this moment as perfect. How, how big can she create a space for you that how you're feeling right now is not something to avoid escape, numb out, or project out to someone else. There's nothing wrong with where you're at. You're right where you need to be. Can you imagine that if this is exactly where you were meant to be at this exact moment? How would that feel if instead of trying to change things outside of yourself, if right now, knowing that you are in the exact perfect place, an exact perfect time for you, how much of yourself can you bring into this moment? How much of yourself can you unscatter and just allow to be? To feel. To hold both those masculine and feminine aspects of yourself. There's nothing that you need to do in this moment. You have. You can give yourself permission to just be. Nice. Okay. 
it looks like a lot of you are um, empaths. So you are um, more so than usual picking up on the collective's energy. Let's go ahead and allow how we're going to um, set up your energy if this if you're drawn to this so you can feel your emotions, your feelings without feeling everybody else's as you're walking down the street or just wherever you are. I'm seeing a very bright light coming in way over your head. Uh, higher chakras have been moving a lot. Um, I'm seeing as a collective, our Stargate chakras are a lot higher than usual. About 20 feet above your head. There you go. This is, uh, um, if you're clairvoyant, you can see the light if you're, or you, you could possibly tune into that light coming in if you're clair sentient. If you're more somatic with your feeling, um, I can feel that light shining starting, even though it's way up above, starting to shine and on the top of my head. It looks like um, there's some blocks around that Stargate chakra. Uh, I keep hearing, that's not possible. <laughs> That's not possible. So there's a lot of um, letting go of, of what you believe is possible and bringing in um, I think it's what we would call miracles, miracle energies. Just awe. It reminds me of I, don't, I didn't think that was going to happen. Yeah, there you go. Can you tune into that energy? Because that allows your body to kind of um, open up and start receiving that light. Boy, a bunch of you did with that. Okay. And it's okay if you don't feel or see or sense. Just know that this light is available. And it's there. So as the light now streams down through that stargate chakra, it's coming in through your soul gate chakras next. I've seen that about 10 feet above your head. Soul star chakra has a lot of your soul's information, Akashic records. This is where you can connect with um, wow, just a lot. So other dimensions, past lives, master selves. Well, a lot of you are ready for master self, meeting your master self. All right, and then bringing that light down into your soul star chakra, which is about um, your causal chakra, which is about five feet above your head, three to five. This is um, this reminds me of my um, navel chakra. Um, 
However, it feels more galactic. So it's a hello, how you communicate with energies in other dimensions outside of the sliver of conscious, the sliver of consciousness that we are aware of. And then bringing this light down into your crown chakra, which is right over your head, allowing that light to lovingly light it up, clear, clear all those thoughts that you're ready to release, clearing thoughts that are cyclical and not nourishing or nurturing, whatever you're ready to let go of. Uh, limiting thoughts and thoughts that don't allow you to see your truth. Um, so we have a being coming in now, um, Kali. Um, a lot of you who are tuning into this are in the midst of or asking for huge change. And um, it's bringing up some fear, um, fears around, I'm seeing them core issues Physically, they're hanging out around your spinal column. Oh, so Kali's saying that a lot of your ego issues, um, negative ego are coming up at this time to be cleared and resisting this is causing a lot of the physical issues. However, um, she doesn't want this to be like blame, like you did this, you, you know, some kind of um, judgment. Um, however, I'm even seeing some of you with physical issues meant to do this as a part of your healing journey to help others. So you could understand that healing path and, and have that roadmap within yourself for others to just pick up on. So I'm sending appreciation for those who are going through You've chosen to go through these physical issues, chosen in a different space, to go through these physical issues so you can come out the other end and guide us. Okay. Um, ooh, there's a real loving energy coming in. Loving yourself before attempting to love and accept someone else. Um, this is a really intense and fiery energy. Um, Kali suggesting that it's okay to see things you didn't know about yourself, you, you were unaware of truths about yourself, 
as you become more conscious, the more you are able to embody compassion towards yourself, then you will help others navigate this really difficult ego death, basically, of, um, feels like a real choice uh, to gain time, fork in the road, choosing between, are you co-creating for everyone's higher and greatest good, or are you creating for your own good? Noticing where those align is where your ease is and letting go of needing things to happen in a time frame when you think they need to happen and what you perceive you need right now instead of focusing on what you are receiving and what you already have now. Feels like the um, appreciation is um, a real salve for this ego energy. There's been a lot of pressure, pressure on men to do, to perform. and judging their performance and um, feminine energy, giving, giving space for them to find their new footing and for you and your masculine energy to find your own footing. Taking turns that it's okay during your day to just be and be in your feminine energy consciously, I'm gonna take this time and just be in my feminine energy and then consciously shifting on right now, I'm going to, there's some things I have to do. I'm going to do them in my masculine energy. And I intend, I'm hearing this a lot, um, try or should uh, let go of. And instead, powerful, I intend to, I intend to balance my masculine and feminine energies. I intend to stay grounded as best I can. I intend for love and align alignment with my highest and greatest good to reside in my heart. Uh, intentions are, that feels like a, a really great, um, I hate calling it homework, but a suggestion if you want to take something outside of this reading space. Okay. Holly's also suggesting um, releasing attachments, checking what you are attached to. If that is confusing, what are you thinking about a lot? Who are you thinking about a lot that are, that are worrisome thoughts and letting go? Are these really your thoughts that you need to be thinking about? Are there other ways and other subjects that you can be focusing your attention on to help that energy grow instead of on 
thoughts and energies that aren't nourishing, nurturing, or helpful. If you keep thinking about the same thing and, and you have the belief that well, once I figure this out, then I'll let it go, that that might be a sign <laughs> that your belief or this energy is thinking you and using your energy instead of you consciously directing your energy where you intend it to be. That helped a lot of you clear. Wow, uh, that helped clear a lot of um, energy from the past that you've been stuck with. It looks like it helps you just um, pop forward into a new vibration, a higher vibration that's much more peaceful. Um, I intend with this new energy to leave space for inspiration, leave space for new opportunities, new connections. Oh, that looks really beautiful. All right. And then bringing that light down into your third eye space. Mm, nice. Without all those thoughts, the space, you can allow the space to get larger, smaller, clearer, brighter. Moving that light column down into your throat chakra. Looks like um, as a collective, we're finding some difficulty communicating through technology. Um, several of you are connected in some way with Lemuria in Atlantis. Um, so you're bringing in a lot of crystal energy. So there was different tech that I'm getting at that time, yet there were some of the same difficulties with this shift of connecting and communicating um, through technology. Um, the suggestion is to Pause and ground first. Connect with your heart space. And communicating through um, the intention of love. Love for self, love for all. And if that is not received in that space, like as love, that's fine. It, it, you know, um, and be clear with yourself if you are communicating through, from a picture of lack, resistance, projection, Neediness. Ooh. Neediness and lack are kind of little twinsies there. Nice. Toning might be really good. Um, uh, 
All right, and then bringing that light down into your heart space. Um, it looks like some of you are afraid to open your heart space to full capacity for yourself. Um, there's a lot of fear around being yourself, showing up as yourself. Um, Kali says that, yes, there will be those who will move out of this space as you will move out of their space with your open heart. However, another aspect of Kali is showing how clearing up and opening this heart space is allowing and letting go of connections that no longer serve you. Some of these connections haven't served you for years, decades, your lifetime, this lifetime, several lifetimes. Some of you are really releasing some galactic karma, earth karma. Wow, thank you. You guys are... Um, Wow, you guys mean business, huh? Thank you. That is a lot. I just want to validate that this is not too much for you. This is what you came here to do. And I'm also getting a message. Um, it's hard for you to see looking with your eyes if you've made any impact and I'm hearing um, because of the work that you've done, there are galaxies and universes coming to completion consciously as a whole right now. And tune into their appreciation. They also have um, energy packets that you can, if you are resonating with us, that you can stream in and anchor into your chakras and earth. Fantastic, wow. All right, and then um, as we take this energy down, into that solar plexus area. Really allow that, I'm just seeing this fiery small spark or what might've felt like a spark is just exploding and growing and growing into um, a sun. This is the seed of your power. And it's right around where your ribs meet. Some of you have been playing small all your life. There we go. Letting go of playing small. You're a bright, shiny sun or star. So, as this light column comes down through those higher chakras, through your embodied chakras, and then pulls into that solar plexus chakra, this is a really great way for uh, empaths to separate their energy from others separate their feeling energy. So allow that pooled energy in your solar plexus to radiate out front of you. 
hitting your aura about an arm's length out. And then create a gold band around you. Don't forget about the back. We are trying and efforting, just allow it, see it, we got, there we go. An effort, just imagine it there, allowing it to fill into those areas, wonderful. Those of you who are not light workers and wondering if you're doing it right, I just um, wanna validate that you're doing a great job. So as that gold, I'm seeing it kind of adjusting your aura, realizing that you don't have to allow energy that is not empowering, useful or helpful or necessary for you on your path to, that it just looks like it's not even being drawn into your space. And also I'm seeing that by intending your power that you are empowered in this space, that it is now sending a message to help you attract energy, feelings, thoughts, inspiration, beings who want to be a part of your empowerment. So also now we're just gonna continue this light down into your navel chakra. There are one or two chakras depending on uh, what school. I'm combining the navel um, and the feeling gut space with the sacral creative space. This is um, permission to your emotions. That masculine energy is also just really, feels like learning from these feelings, learning how to adjust to having emotions, learning how to feel it without reacting from an ego space. Uh, judging emotions, like this is a bad emotion. So I, it's, I'm perceiving that person or that situation as creating it. And so I'm projecting my hurt, my anger outwards, where really it feels like finding, wow, I'm really angry at that person or that situation. What am I really hurt about? What am I trying to protect some wound within myself? Um, and it does feel like masculine heart space and like power, what, how, how can I be an empowered masculine or balanced energy, masculine, feminine, and express that um, in a healthy, balanced way for me? Because everybody, it feels like everybody has very unique um, energy for what they've come here to accomplish. Also noticing that this um, belly navel chakra is a really welcoming space. And if you don't feel welcome in, in your gut, it's hard to welcome others. Wow. Yeah, bringing in that loving warmth. What does home feel like? 
some of you haven't really known what that feels like. What would home feel like? Not thinking and picturing it, but more to me, I'm feeling resonance with belonging. There's this unconditional acceptance, trusting of what arises, welcoming each moment, being present for it. A lot of opportunities to, to notice. I'm not even noticing, like when you notice something unwanted, instead of judging it, being able to observe and say, oh, wow, I just really, I'm, I'm feeling that painful aspect of me has just been shown to me by situation, someone, a communication. I'm so glad that person, I think an old me would have perceived that person as being somehow responsible for that. However, I'm seeing and feeling how it's, it's within me. And they just gave me an opportunity to witness this about myself in a loving way, in a helpful, nurturing way. I'm also seeing everybody's doing their best. It might not feel like it. Being easy and gentle. Some of you might want to connect with Kuan Yin around this, if this is really lighting up for you. Um, Pema Chodron also. That um, her teachings around getting unstuck. I feel like if this is um, really lighting up as something you would like to do further work on. All right, and then going, continuing that light chakra column down into the base chakra. This feels like um, a collective releasing limiting beliefs about yourself, your world, what you can create, what is created. It's, it feels like, like what's real, what's real, what's resonant. That's interesting. So I'm getting that what's resonant with you is real and how that changes for each individual. Boy, that's uh, a little much for the human brain. I, it looks like a lot of you are tuning with this and understanding this on a um, light energetic level. Wow. And it looks like it's helped a lot of you kind of um, embody your divine nature more wholly. Um, just suggesting as you embody that to take that energy out to your aura and even kind of allowing what's on the outside of your aura. You can just use your 
psychic hands or energetic hands or your actual hands and just imagine clearing off It, it, the, the energy kind of feels like barnacles, like on a whale. So it's just energies, the crusty energies that <laughs> are attached to the outside of your aura. Could be if this isn't resonating, if you don't see this, that's fine. There, a lot of you are clearing. Remember the back of your aura. Don't forget. And also bringing it down below your feet in the back. Um, it looks like a lot of you are forgetting that your aura goes down below your feet. And so it um, it's making next steps very confusing because your auras look like they come down to about hip area. And then there we go. Nice, fantastic. Awesome. And then let's continue that light down through that chakra column, clearing out your legs in that column, energetic legs. And then below your feet, about six inches, is your earth star chakra. This chakra carries a lot of information about. Earth specifically. A lot of you um, tuning into this are librarians, Earth librarians. You are able to read Earth energy, Earth and cosmic energy, but by tuning into this Earth star chakra, you can really start differentiating. Uh, telling the difference between yeah, separating out and seeing the resonance. I, it's very interesting. It doesn't feel separate, but it is separate. Um, mm, that feels like a later chapter. I'll just leave that. I'm, curious about that. Um, a lot of you are um, wanting to unlock some of your skills, bring out your master self. Don't forget about um, this chakra. Nice. Some of you somatically might feel your feet really tingling. Um, as your body just naturally is just bringing in, bringing up your own energy from the chakra. All right, so bringing, continuing this light energy down through that column, down through your earth star chakra and continuing down to the center of earth Gaia, I'm noticing a real pulsing. I'm noticing my heartbeat, and also feeling like I'm. My heartbeat is harmonizing with Earth's heartbeat. Wow. So now you are this wonderful column of light. You can access as much as who you are in this moment who you are as connected with earth and connected with the cosmos.
I feel drawn to send my healing intentions what I'm drawn to the most with earth. I welcome you to send your energy, your healing, loving intentions to situation on earth, aspects of the physical earth, like water or land or air fire, animals, beings, smallest to the largest. They're all a part of Earth and her consciousness, just as we are. I'm feeling a real call to send this loving energy to the collective on Earth, human collective. Anyone who's having a difficult time and struggling, sending that loving, nurturing, empowered, just becoming a part of that flow of energy and directing it wherever your intentions are. That's all. You're just a part of a flow. No one is taking any energy from you. You are just in a stream of energy, a stream of loving, caring energy. So as you direct it, you're also receiving from it as you are a part of that flow. Notice if it's harder for you to receive than it is for you to give. It's important that you be able to receive. So allowing yourself to drop any resistance to receiving, resistance to deserving, Resistance, anything that says I'm not worthy of this, you can let go of if you're ready to. And then I have um, a few people that I specifically would like to send this healing energy to. So anyone who specifically comes to mind that you would like to send, invite this energy to visit, it is up to them whether or not they're ready or capable or able or wanting to receive this energy. It might not be a part of their path, However, I find that if I just send it with a welcome invitation to the energy, What's really cool is as I'm with sending each person that invitation and energy, I noticed 
other people's like prayer energy also combined in that and um what i'm seeing is um we all have more support and people sending us love than we might even be able to receive ourselves so right now just kind of switching and seeing on the outside of your aura i'm seeing them as little wings and i'm like <laughs> prayers on a wing like a bundle of thought little you might see it as spark you might feel it as um a little sunshine energy um and i'm even hearing it um um oh, it's a very solid note so Oh. So anyway, um, just so you can validate that how many people out there are sending you messages of love and well-being, just making sure that you are aware of how loved you are, how cared for you are. And those messages are there for you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anything else. With intention, if um, whatever was beneficial for you, you can ground, anchor this energy. Um, and with intention, you can integrate this. It looks like a lot of you have received a lot more information. This is a big channeling session, but, um, or long. However, um, it looks like it could take a couple days to integrate all of this information. So I'm just going to end with appreciation and sending appreciation to the earth for showing us such a, a beautiful, loving space. Sending love and appreciation to galactic energies higher dimensions who showed up during this reading. Appreciation for Kali. Appreciation Kuan Yin. Appreciation to my guides to your guides, appreciation to all of you. Appreciation to self. All right. So I just want to thank all of you for coming here today, whenever today is, whenever you're seeing this. And um, I hope that this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have had any inspiring thoughts or statements or questions that you feel like you want to share. Um, I would love to know what your experience is. And I hope you have a great day whenever and wherever you are. Thank you.